Okay, I don't have vlogged film because I haven't got rid of a, a whole load of videos. But I will say this, I've been going out my way to counter, burn out from work and I've been doing, in my opinion, an amazing job. It seems like from uh, today, day after, started to work again, I've been able to uh, feel 100% again. I know it's like too and not too feel burnt out, so I think I've got to a place where I'm starting to really not feel that way from so many, um, you know, such physical, such intense physical activity. But yeah, very basically, I'm getting better at that. And cheers to keeping that up and eventually getting to a point where I feel 100% each and every day without fail was what I was going to say but because the tablet cut off due to full storage I wasn't able to get it out but there's a whole load of footage that I deleted from one day's worth of logs it was the one from the 8th of March that I had filmed but yeah very basically go back to what I was saying I definitely would like to keep on feeling 100% all the time because I think I deserve that, especially putting in with all the work that I've been putting into my way of life as a whole, with both hobbies and also career. I just I I put quote marks or career because I what viewed exercise as a hobby, and I'd say that I nowadays am more than I once used to in the very recent past because I'm doing my exercise outside of work that I do on shift in the gym and I feel more grateful for it I think I'm giving myself more space to be able to live my life peacefully that way so cheers to that and well done me for that I think with peace of mind I then be able to keep on progressing in my life more than I would have otherwise done by as the manager seems they want me to do just being in the gym basically for most days of the week to try and build the um, PT business which I no longer want to do I think it's too much effort for too little reward especially considering that I'd want to go out my way to get educated and use the business I've built within the gym that I'm currently working at to then go and do other things rather than in person one to one coaching. I don't want to do that anymore, but I do want to keep the business though. I don't, I'm not trashing that, but when it comes to doing in person personal training work, I don't want to do it. I don't and as I said I just think it's too much for, um, physical work for too little reward I have just started so although I could say well the business hasn't been successful because it's barely started it hasn't it's barely got off its feet a lot of people might define success is how much money you've got coming in and I personally don't because I don't think <sighs> that's the only benefit that there is to doing business I think it should be enjoyable too and it doesn't seem to be that way I've got PT um, taster sessions for the business coming up and I don't want to go personally I'd rather use my job get more educated which isn't a priority at the place I'm currently working at and it's something it seems like going out my way to get educated more than I already am with the work I'm doing as a gym instructor at the moment is like an uphill battle because it's not needed and it's not a regular part of a regular mandatory part of the job I'm not having to very consciously do it myself and I don't think it should have to be that way I think the upskilling that I do should be a part of the job on a regular basis even if it's um, weekly at bare minimum within the job and then in the meantime when I'd be working I'd be upskilling 
beyond just doing um, just going out and in this case because it would be personal training work coaching clients I don't want that so yeah very basically that's what's going on and I'd like to imagine that with the opportunity I've got going uh, for me someone is or a company I'll say through someone giving me a call is wanting to uh, discuss a job opportunity that they've got lined up for people I've applied to this company at least twice I didn't get it the first time but the second time at least now it seems like they're potentially wanting me on board but I haven't signed any contracts or anything this would be basically the very start to potentially work in there and if I do work or I really like the idea of the place that I'll be working at then I would um, yeah I'd take it on board because I know with this company I think it's more high end at least at first glance compared to where I'm currently working at and it seems like they care more about learning and education than where I'm currently working does but a major part of what I'm trying to figure out now when it comes to moving on and staying away from um, where I'm currently working so moving up um, completely moving on from where I'm currently working I don't know how I in my mind would be moving away from time poverty for good it seems like if I were to take a few hours to prepare myself for work then do an eight hour shift and then do a few hours to wind down and also to prepare myself for the next day on the premise that I'm awake and up doing awake and up doing what I'd want to do on a daily basis for 15 hours a day to have nine hours uh, a nine hour block of sleep that then mean 93.3 percent of my five days a week would be taken due to just doing either work or work related activities like uh, preparing myself specifically for work or going out my way to counter burnout because of work and how stressful I would have thought that that's been due to how I've gone about doing the work um, etc I've done 8 hour shifts before and I'm doing them regularly where I'm currently working but only once a week rather than what I think I'd be doing which would be 5 times a week full time I'm thinking of trying to go from 14 hours doing work related stuff to 9 hours so um, maybe preparing for a shift for one hour and then doing my eight hour shift and then doing all of the work related stuff that I'd want to do within that eight hour shift but bearing in mind I'd be traveling to get to work I don't think that'd be possible unless I would have been doing all of my work preparation uh, before that day but I, I wouldn't want in order to make that happen my work preparation would probably have to bleed into the days I wouldn't have a shift which I wouldn't want to do I wouldn't want to then in turn be doing work related stuff every single day potentially against my will I don't want that but at least I'm figuring it out now because then I'll be able to know for sure that when I do move on that I've got all of this figured out at least as much as I could think of figuring out figuring it out so I'm definitely in that regard in my opinion getting it together but I just have to keep on working toward it really I think so yeah that's that um, the benefits for me working this job as far as I'm aware would be there's a lot more opportunity for uh, mandatory education with mentors and also accredited courses which I don't have at where I'm currently working also because it's more higher end it's um, the company's more for lu it's luxury gyms rather than commercial ones 
where I'm currently working at. So in that end, it's more high end. And because of that, I think I'd have to deal with less uh, like a mess all over the place, especially with the toilets. Sometimes, like people wouldn't, they go to the toilet not flush. And sometimes the toilet would be leaking. Like it's not nice having to see that sometimes when people who've gone to the toilet to take a piss and they haven't flushed or taken a piss and a shit and they haven't flushed. It's not nice. Also, being so um, beyond what I'd be getting charged for rent to work under my own name. The work that I do under the company I'm working at is just so physically and mentally taxing, which I've noticed yesterday as I've been really getting my life together, my way of life together. It's, I think, especially considering it's, it's minimum wage work and all of that money, if I don't get paid extra per month for whatever reason, would be gone and then some due to having to pay for rent. I just don't think it's worth the effort. The effort. I don't think it's worth the effort doing all of that work physically and mentally. And also like I experienced yesterday, basically thinking about work all day and all night and thinking about how I would uh, prepare myself, potentially not getting enough sleep, not getting my now nine hour block of sleep because of when the shift on one day would happen and then when my, uh, the shift on the next day would happen. It's not something I want to go through. I think it's too much for too little. And I'm not willing to break myself for a job, any job, or for anything really, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I've been thinking of wanting to move on for a month and I'm putting together plans to be able to make that happen. I've been working at where I'm working at for over half a year now. I'm ready to get going and move on to a place where I'd be able to really not only take my learning to the next level with the personal training related stuff, but my way of life as a whole. And then from there, in order to not get trapped as working as a PT forever, then I'd have to uh, make the business I've made with the gym, I'm, uh, with the company I'm currently working at flourish in order to make that happen. So in order to do that, I'd have to stick to it consistently. And I could also uh, use the help of my personal training providers that I currently have to help me with that. Because they're helping me from the sidelines. They're not employing me, they're just helping me to keep on getting more qualifications so their motives are going to be to do just that but the job co uh, the company I'll be working for would be trying to keep me potentially working a job I don't want to work because it would benefit them because they'd have one more person on the gym floor working regardless of how that affect the employee outside of work due to how they deal with it due to potentially not knowing how to deal with it effectively. And it can be very easy to sidestep responsibility because the um, as, as a company, because it's not the company's responsibility to take care of an employee, both in and outside of work or uh, outside of their shifts. That's for them to do. So in that case, that means that I have to take responsibility for my own way of life, which I am doing. But sometimes it can seem like it's uh, overwhelming, significantly due to burnout. Yeah. And for that reason, I think I then go out my way to pin blame on other people as to uh, why I'd feel this way. So it'd be 
at a short term easier to deal with but it's just not the case my life's my responsibility and it's for me to uh, make that happen it's for me to uh, follow through with that I mean yeah is it still recording? yeah okay yeah it is anyway with all of that being said I think I'm doing a much better job at um, taking control of my way of life than I once was so cheers to keeping that up but I feel like I'm having um, I'm on the verge of a headache due to talking so much so I'll leave it at that I've got to go do my exercise so cheers to that how I'm off yeah I'll um, keep on really getting it together and me being able to have an ideal quality of life which I'm really working toward now won't be a problem cheers well done for all the work I'm putting cheers to keeping it up